Hello and welcome again to the Tinker Cats video gallery. Um, today we're going to do the blackboard or chalkboard technique using bleach. Now this card here is just want to show you how pretty this technique can look. And what I did for this, I masked, I stamped and embossed the flowers first and masked them off and then stamped the leaves and uh, just used a liner pen to um, get the twigs in. Now I'll make it a little bit easier for my demonstration today but um, it's just something to inspire you. Right, <clears throat> so what you need, you need black cardstock and I've got my piece here and just in case you wonder what this is I tend to use scrap paper when I uh, do embossing and it's just a timetable from for the tourist bus between Llandudno and Conway. Right, so you need Versa Mark ink or any um, clear embossing ink. You can also use white craft ink but you would need to be much quicker than with stamping because it dries more quickly. Okay, so I'm just going to ink my greeting up first and stamp that in my bottom left hand corner. That is that. And then I'm just going to do some circles. Stamp them randomly. Okay, so I've got some random circles here now and next I'm just going to quickly stamp some leaves Just random leaves and that one coming in maybe here. Okay, so and next I'm going to sprinkle them all with embossing powder. going to use white and this is probably where I regret not having um, used my embossing body but no worries I got like a little brush that I use to get the excess off and that's actually quite a good one to do And you can just sort of quickly brush bits off here and also where you sort of caught a little bit in the middle and it doesn't have to be too precise for this technique here because it's chalkboard and chalkboard always has some sort of white bits on there anyway that one wasn't never able to wipe off properly so I'm quite happy with this. I'm just going to take this little bit off. Just go in there. That's that. Okay, so I'm happy with it. I'm now getting my embossing tool out and I'm going to heat emboss this. Just 
take the bottom bit out here. I've just seen something where I've caught the middle of my leaf because it was on the edge and I got a stamping mud underneath. Right, I'm just quickly embossing this. I'm going off screen for that. So I've heat embossed it all in white here and I'm just going to quickly um, remove my embossing powder from here. That goes back into its little container. And now next, we're going to do the bleach. Now I've um, just got like a little bit of bleach with water and a cotton bud. So be careful, we are old clothes for this and keep it out of reach of children, of course. So what we want to do now is take the color away from the inside of the leaves. So you just need to slightly dab your bleachy water on there and you can already see how the colour is changing. So we're taking that away. And from the centres of the circles. Be careful not to over wet your card because it could bleed out in the surrounding areas and you only need a little bit to take the colour out. And the reason for taking the colour out because it will show your colouring with watercolour pencils which we are going to use, it will show the colour much better. So you can do it straight onto the black card but quite often it doesn't show the colour as well. If you wanted to use chalks for this, you'd have to sort of fix them after. So I just tend to prefer for quickness sake to use watercolour pencils and they do work really, really well for this. So you can see how it's taken the colours out. The black has turned to brown. Now this needs to go to one side now to dry. And I've already prepared a piece, which I've got here. And we're going to colour in now with watercolour pencils. So I'm just going to use two shades of green and two shades of orange for this. So I'm starting for the leaves with the lighter green. And all you do is you just colour inside your white lines and it will cover all the brown. So this is quite quick to do and it's a really easy but very effective technique to make quite stunning cards. You can use it for any sort of stamp where you do colouring in base, where you do colouring in and um, just get different results. But if you use the, the bleach it's probably best if you have like um, large areas of to colour in rather than the very small ones because you need to go in. You can also apply the bleach with a with a little uh, brush. So I'm just going to add some shading in a darker green now. So just 
just a bit around the edges. It doesn't matter if you go over your white embossed a little bit. Um, no, it's just more for the authenticity of the effect than really. Because on, on a chalkboard quite often the colours can blend into the white a bit. So just add a little bit of shading there. Right, that's that. And now we are going to do the oranges. I'm going to start with my lighter colour. And can you see how the colours are already starting to come out quite nicely? So all you do is you just quickly colour your areas in. matter if some of the white comes off it just um, as I said it doesn't have to be perfect because it's more of a rustic type of look anyway so just make sure that all the brown is covered And just in case you're wondering which stamp sets I'm using, I'm using Stamploration stamps. Uh, my sentiment is from the vignette um, Chef Run and Arrows. And I've just sort of assembled it in a cluster because it all comes separately. And um, my circles are from the retro modern shapes, so are the little leaves. And the flowers for the, from the first card, which I showed you at the beginning, they are from the Vignette Eclectic Florals. So they're both all very versatile sets to use. So as you can see, I'm almost finished with my first colouring in of my circle shapes. And now I've got a darker shade of orange and I'm just going to pick up a little bit in the corners and around just in one to maybe highlight it a little bit more so add a little bit of depth so you might not necessarily see the, the difference that much but it does do a little bit. So right, I'm quite happy with this. And what I'm going to do next, now you can either use a watercolour pencil for this, or if you've got some white crafting, which I got, it's a little bit quicker. I'm going to sort of add some um, white highlights. So I'm just going to do this with my finger. And all I do is, I just quickly go over the whole piece of black card. And actually doing that brings even I think it brings the colour out even a little bit more and it makes it look more like a blackboard. It gives it a sort of like this slightly chalky 
um, grey effect that they can have. So I've got to wipe my finger now. Right, that's the right ink going away. And I'm going to get my base card. Going to get my base card and I'm going to stick this down with glue. Just bear with me a moment. Yeah, the embossing always slightly seems to warp the card, so I find that glue is a little bit better to use because it seems to uh, stick uh, it down a bit more firmly. The other thing I like about using glue is that you always have like a little bit of movement left before you it fully sticks down so you can adjust where you want it to go. Right, they do look a bit like oranges don't they? So I'm just sticking this down. Okay, oops. that goes away. Now next what I did with the other card because it sort of looks a bit needs a little bit of a border around it. It's got a wonky edge already but I feel it needs a little bit of a border. So all I did was use my fine liner pen and just followed the outline doing dashes and dots. You can whatever you want to do as your preferred doodle method, of course. You could even give it a more fancy border. This is almost finished. And then to finish off, I just will add some sequins. You could add pearls if you want to, or some sparklies. It's up to you. Right, that's my border done. So now I'm going to get my sequins. I've got some yellow ones or white ones that I could use. And what I tend to do is I just pop them on and just see what they would look like. Yeah, they would look quite nice. That would make quite a sort of a funkyish card. Maybe not in all of the circles. Pop some in between. And I think I need another one in here. Pop one up. Yeah. Nope. And that. Okay. 
So what I then tend to do is I tend to get my glue pen and quickly move them out of the way. And at my little dots where I've placed them. Add a little bit more here so that they're going to be down securely. Okay. And now I'm going to replace them. So I put them on their dots, basically, the glue dots, and then the cart is finished. Just leave it to dry and then fold it once the sequins have dried. Oops, this one I've forgotten. Shall we go and do that once I've finished these here? So the good thing about using sequins as, um, as an embellishment, you usually get away with sending them as a normal letter size. Um, I've been to the post office today and of course the postage in the UK has gone up again. So you want to avoid where possible maybe sending a large letter unless it's for someone quite special. Right, so that's my card done. Just going to fold this over for you so you can sort of see what it looks like. A bit better, of course I'll give it a better um, burnish once it's dry. So thanks for watching and have a lovely day. Bye!